morning. Wow, um, I'm in another premiere in. I've woken up in another premiere in uh, this morning. Um, this vlog's going to be much like the last one. I'm going to be all over the shop. So uh, this morning I've woken up in Great Yarmouth. Woohoo! Um, which uh, is in Norfolk. Pretty sure it's in Norfolk. Um, so... Yeah, I'm here because I am speaking at Light of the Life Baptist Church uh, this morning, uh, which is great. They've got a wonderful story, which I'm so pleased to be able to share with you and take you along to them. Um, hi, I'm Hayley. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I'm uh, the current president of Baptist Together, and I'm also uh, the regional minister for uh, strategy and transition in the Northern Baptist Association. Um, yeah, so today um, was brilliant. So yesterday, yesterday um, was Saturday um, and I, obviously, of course, Sunday today if I'm preaching at a church. Um, yesterday morning, I tuned in to Renew Wellbeing fifth birthday party, uh, kind of a celebration of all that's been happening uh, with them, which was absolutely amazing. Ruth and the team at Renew are doing an amazing job at building a bigger table with those who don't naturally fit in to church, who those who struggle uh, with uh, churches. Uh, there's a link in description below if you've never heard of Renew Wellbeing. Basically, they're about creating spaces where it's okay not to be okay. Yeah, it was just wonderful to join with that online. Um, and then I jumped in the car to drive to, to Great Yarmouth um, and yeah then just then just crashed and just slept and um, so yeah let's go to Light of the Life at Baptist Church and yeah see what they're up to let's see how they are building a bigger table in our Baptist family up here Hey, hey, morning. This is Phil. Phil, who are you? I'm the regional team leader for London. Yay, so we're here in, where are we? Uh, we're in Aston Hall Hotel in near Sheffield. For regional minister team leaders, kind of a few days away meeting. We've had some really good discussions, great time of fellowship. Yeah. Some heavy discussions as well, but, but good because it means that we're discerning properly for our Baptist movement. And um, we had a bishop guy come to speak to us yesterday about yeah. translocal leadership. Yeah, Bishop Pete, Bishop of Sheffield. He had some really interesting things to say about how they're trying to re energize and rejuvenate churches. Yeah, so it's been really good. So that's what I've been up to the past couple of days. After this, I'm heading to Bristol. But you will know that I stay a lot in Premier Inn. So this view is amazing. Um, <laughs> And also, I'm never going to be in charge in booking these venues. But yeah, well, check it out. So that's what we're up to today. Um, obviously, I'm not filming content of the meetings because that would be weird. But uh, yeah, check out Phil. Phil's on Twitter. Your Twitter handle is? Synth Maniac. I'll put it in the description below if you want to follow Phil, Phil as team leader at London. Okay, so that was me with Phil, uh, outside team leaders. We did, as I said, had a really good time um, just discussing, designing, chatting. On the first day, um, Andy and Tim, who oversee some of the ministerial development um, and settlement, came and spoke with us, which was really good. Um, just kind of getting the crossover and the synergy going, amazing. Uh, and then last night, I, well, this afternoon, drove to Bristol and had a meeting, uh, a couple of meetings on Zoom. It's now Friday morning, had a couple of meetings on Zoom. This afternoon, I'm really excited, excited because I am off to meet with Carl, Hannah and Andy. We've not physically seen each other for like so long, but we've been working on this missional uh, project 
based on films. So today we're doing some storyboarding, some chatting, some kind of behind the scenes footage for our CMD module that will be created out of this, which is absolutely amazing. So for the first time in over a year, I'm going to the Fuelcast kind of studios um, and offices. So yes, let's go. morning wow yeah so ah oh, that was wonderful it was so good to spend time with uh, Andy Hannah and Carl just not just doing some of the work that we've got to do but also just having a laugh and being together it was really really good so yep yeah, then Saturday I spent some time on some zoom calls and trying to get ahead of some paperwork um, and that's because when I'm at these meetings, when I'm away, I'm desperately trying to be present. So I don't want to be one of these people that are in the room, but doing emails and other stuff. I'm trying to give my whole self into that space, um, which is great. And I think it's the right, no, I know it's the right thing to do. I know that's the God honoring thing to do, but it does then mean that work piles up. So, so yeah, just trying to create some space to do that. Um, Saturday morning, it was, it's the start of the month, isn't it? Wow. So at the start of every month, I meet with a group of people that are walking with me through this presidential year. We meet on Zoom over a WhatsApp group for those that can, not everyone can make the Saturday mornings, but just to check in, just to pray together, to discern together, um, and yeah, hold me accountable and to also walk with me. So that's great. So I give them my diary for the month as well so they can speak into that and so I did that first thing yesterday morning which is amazing and um, yeah and now it's Sunday morning and I am off to Chipping Solver oh. I'm rubbish I'm rubbish at reading names this is like the world's worst gig for a dyslexic. It's a church in Bristol, really good church, really lovely, and they're in partial vacancy. And I'm off there, Chipping Solbury, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, or Solbury. Chipping Solbury. I'm really sorry for those of you watching this. It's, it's not you, it's me. Being dyslexic is, um, it's a real challenge when you've got to try and read place names. Place names seem to be the most difficult to to kind of lodge in my head. So sorry, but um, they're in partial vacancy, um, and so I'm going to share there about building a bigger table. So I am now home after a really, really long drive. Um, it was great to be with Chipping Sobri, so got that right. Um, it was just wonderful to, to be with them, to share. Um, like all churches, they're, they're looking at that challenge of how do we reach out, how do we create diversity within our structures, our leadership. Um, how do we reach a new generation with the gospel? And so building a bigger table really resonated and fitted with them. 
So it has been a really varied kind of two weeks. It was wonderful to kick um, off my fortnight in light of the life uh, Baptist Church in Norfolk doing an amazing job of building a bigger table um, and the leaders there, fantastic. Um, being with team leaders, being with um, Fuelcast, uh, Andy, Hannah and then the the folk at uh, Chipping Sobbery, absolutely amazing. Thank you to everyone that's hosted me. Um, if you want to keep up to date daily on what I'm doing, then follow my social media handles. Um, yeah, this has been amazing. So you've been you, I've been me, and I will see you next time.